course, <laughs> every day. But um, if you don't mind, we can kind of just go through this a little bit more because I want to make sure everyone understands a little bit. Clear the side out, guys. Jump into a few other questions for you. Does that work? Here? Okay. So, through the years, Wozniak has been involved in various business and philanthropic ventures, making significant improvements of both his time and resources and education. He adopted those models, clear, school district providing students and teachers with hands on teaching and donations of state of the art technology equipment. He founded the Electronic Frontier Foundation with a county sponsor of Kennedy Museum, Silicon Valley LA, and Children's Discovery Museum of San Jose. He now has ties to our own backyard, as his wife, Janet, is a Kansas native. He's also a Segway fanatic, very safety conscious, as you saw as well. He's a Tetris High Sport champ, and he's approved on national television. He isn't afraid to hit the dance floor. I'm afraid. So I think he'll find himself right at home here for Septon. And again, please help me uh, welcome Steve. A couple things. If you're tweeting this, please use that Steve Waz, use his handle. And our handle here is, uh, you know, uh, is a hashtag uh, Waz at Perceptive Software. So with that, I'll hand it over to you. And if we have a few questions after you have a, uh, we get a chance. Andrew, over to you. Strangely enough, even before Apple, the world really ran on software. The software that ran the enterprise businesses. And we were just early on starting Apple. It looked like we had a prospective product, the Apple II. And it was starting to sell, and we had some finance money, and we were well organized, kind of professionally organized, and had our own stuff. Oh my gosh, we got up to a point in sales where we really had to have a system to handle all of our internal stuff. And I think we, we so we hired some company, and they used some PDP. I don't know, faxes or deck levels or whatever. And um, and so we're running, and one of our board members, members, Henry Singleton, said, why don't we run this on our own computers? Our own computers at the time were Apple IIs. It was a little weak for the job. But uh, we stood there. So I always liked that, that philosophy. That Apple, of course, is well known as a company that does like to do everything from the ground up. So that means a lot of disciplines in one company. But even when it's, you're a software person, it's the more of the of a complete project, a complete product up to where it's deliverable and working that you do, I think the results are the better. In other words, if you actually know the end goal and you actually are building all the individual pieces and not just one little tiny piece interacting with other people, I think you've got a huge advantage in understanding how the software is going to work in the end with the, um, the end user. So uh, that'd be enough for now. And um, well, well, let's go to questions. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah.